Yeah, it's really hard to pin him down. I, his neutral is better, but it still doesn't feel great, especially compared to Greninja, who yeah. just has such amazing speed. All right, and he's fighting a Greninja player whose name is Tigre, so here we go. El Tigre. Yep. All right, so uh, this matchup, I'd say probably in Greninja's favor. Uh, I feel like Greninja has the, the whiff punish abilities to just like make Falco just like struggle in neutral. Not only that, one thing we've already been seeing uh, is because of Greninja's low profile, Falco's hitboxes aren't the greatest for hitting those small opponents. Like, yeah, he was going for yeah. back airs, and they were just straight up whiffing. In fact, to the point where now he's actually going for down air, yeah. like in neutral, which it's working out for him. It's actually working out really well. Yeah. It's cool that he ended up going for these options that I wouldn't really see as much in another matchup. You know, like down air, like falling neutral air, like yeah. uh, side B. But those are the most consistent ways of actually hitting Greninja. Oh my sweet. Oh, and he tried to read the tech roll away. <laughs> he didn't even need to. He's, you were talking about the mixing? Yep. And, and that short hop side B from Falco kind of reminds me of Smash Bros. Fox's short hop side B. Like, you, it pops him up in a good position to get a combo, and you can't tech that salty fun. Like, literally on the ground, short hop down air, into back air, great stuff coming out from Tilde. He has such a big lead right now. You know, Greninja has amazing movement, but one thing that Falco has is the frame data, and we're just seeing how, like, Tilda is abusing that. His moves are coming out so blazingly fast. Yep. Like, up to down air? Like, what are what are these combos that he's showcasing for us? Yeah. That was so smart. He yep. jumped, and that was it. And he got hit by Hydro Pump, and it basically actually put him in a better position yeah. to recover. As long as you don't press your special moves while you're <laughs> in the water. Oh, my God. Tilda. He is, he is going nuts right now. Yep. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's I, trying to get like a F tilt into tech chase with the side B and then like probably a back air and up air. Oh, that was and a good tech, yeah. but not enough because the down air soon follows. Yep. Tilda's feeling himself. That was actually. Yeah, and like I said, he doesn't come often, but when he does, he he does damage in this bracket. Like, it's crazy. Not only that, uh, he has creativity in his combos. Yeah. I feel like I didn't see the same combo twice. Yeah. Or okay. if it did, it was so fast that I didn't even register. Yeah, he just plays so fast. Like, I, I know he plays melee a little. Like, he's a, he's definitely like, he's definitely a flashy and like fast player. So, uh, if you're not ready for his style, like, he could really throw you off guard and like put you in the blunder. Yo, counterpick to Gerudo Valley. <laughs> <laughs> no, never mind. All right, Battlefield. Uh, How do you feel about the stage pick? Uh, I mean, like I said before, like Greninja really needs to focus on with punishing Falco. And if he gets like a dash attack or down tilt, like he could really extend on the platforms with up airs and like uh, weak nares and stuff. Like, I, I feel like it would be a good pick, but however, yeah, I yeah. agree. But at the same time, I'm wondering how these platforms will interact yeah. with Falco's yep. combos. I was just about to say. Ooh. In, in, like, and I know that I feel like Greninja is one of those characters that, like, on FD, for instance, his combos work very well. Yep. Um, even in this game. Alright, here we go so with the up airs. <laughs> we almost had it! He knew. Alright, trying to two frame into the down tilt, not gonna get it. Wow, the spacing, yeah. able to just maneuver pass that back air and throw out a back air of his own. And that stock one just completely gone from T Gray. Down air into the up smash. Miss tech Are these into the back air. combos or is it like Tilda's not air dodging or what? I cannot tell. They seems like they happen instantaneously. Well, like I said before, like that down air on the ground is untackable, right? So I, I feel like at these low percent combos it has to be like sort of true or maybe like a 50-50 or maybe he could like jump or air dodge, but he's not doing it. So Tilda's just getting like these low percent strings. Oh no way! Oh my god, if he actually died though. <laughs> okay, there, there's the death. Yeah. That was that was nuts! Yeah. Oh man, he's just this playing with his food now. I feel like versus really hyper aggressive players like Tilde, you really need to take your time and like really evaluate like why am I getting hit? Why why am I staying in disadvantage for so long? And really, like, think about it, because if not, they're just going to run over you, and oh, that's yeah. what's happening right now. <laughs> why, why am I getting hit so much? Because Falco's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Reset Tekken. 
Uh, it ended up falling out of it, I don't Yeah. Think. I don't know what, we, what he could have extended off of that. Nah, he couldn't have got anything. Like, if he got the last hit of Nair, then he would have got sent, like, too far. Yeah. Down throw. Just sh shoots a laser at him. Has he taken a stock yet? Has T Gray managed to take one of the stocks? Uh, no, he got three stack last time, so. Yeah, so. Ooh, it might end up being the same oh thing. My. He's. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, and he read that jump off the platform. He just didn't commit with a hitbox. Okay, I will like. One thing I'd like to see maybe that F tilt's still not doing it is maybe like short hop up airs from T Gray. Because we're seeing a lot of these sort of full hops and trying to maneuver in the air. Yeah. So maybe something instant uh, would actually be able to test properly. All right, and the weak back air, gonna save T-Gray for a little bit longer, but how much longer, right? Uh, Forward, yeah, Fotho yeah. doesn't do it. Down till, ooh, he like bounced off the wall with his hydro pump. Like, just grab the Ooh, this could be big. Uh, but nice going high. Uh, Tilde is able to escape the worst of that. All right, All right here, here come the combos, maybe. All right, getting yeah. 64 damage that's, on board. That's, that's pretty good coverage. Right? And he's at a high enough percent now that like his uh, yeah, Tilda's attacks don't actually yeah. link. Okay, but you don't need yeah. to link that for that to work. <laughs> All right, so that is uh, wasn't too, wasn't a six stock, but uh, yeah. Tilda taking it convincingly. To, uh, convincing 2-0, and I'm really excited to see what else he does in this tournament because yeah. I don't see him that often. Yeah, yeah. He's fun to watch. Yeah, for sure. I, I I feel like later in the bracket, he won't be able to, like, run over people like that, but, I mean, it, it would definitely be interesting to see, like, how he innovates, like, those kind of strings while, like, having to play, like, a more, like, patient neutral, I'd say. Yeah. So. I will also say there's nothing cooler than seeing that sort of thing happen to a really good player. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, it's like, wow, this actually worked, and, like... <laughs> yeah. Especially because, like, as a Falco, usually they end up doing that from behind. Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, 